First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Kakadash. You know, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Lab Aquarium. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim, and Kakadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. Shalom, Lab Aquarium. Peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. All right. And um, uh, we were checking out the Elder Yashawamba's video in which he was going into basically how the witchcraft of America, you know, sitting in the dust. All right. Meaning uh, being in a state of confusion. You know, how the witchcraft of America and the so called white man himself, Esau Edom, is just now the enchantments are not working on the people. And how he's presented or what he expected and it matches up with prophecy because you have the uh you have a lot of people who look into the science of esau and see the prosperity of it and look at the technology aspect and look at this thing as being the future and the way and the new wave you know in which to go but according to scriptures according to prophecy that's not going to be the case all right prophecy doesn't tell us that esau and his world and what his uh, new world establishment is going to be uh, is going to be the, the new foundation of the world. You know, this man has reigned long enough. The scriptures tell you that they you know uh, that the prosperity of the wicked is only but for a moment, man. The triumphing of the wicked is but for a moment. So when you have someone that's setting up ideologies and lifestyles that are contrary to the Holy Bible, then eventually by the course of what people will call nature, right? Righteousness will, will prevail, okay? And that's by the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being brought forth and uh, exalted to be the, 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 the foundation of the world in which it was uh, created for and from the beginning. So you can understand, all right? So the first scripture, you know, you can check out that video. The first scripture we want to go to is uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 7, right? And it says what? Concerning Edom, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is, the, is their wisdom vanished? Okay? Because that's going to happen, man. All right? Because... All these scientists, the top scientists, the top, you know, uh, uh, technological schools, the, the, uh, the top IT individuals, you can check it out. It's really all of them are Edomites. But we know through the spirit that it's a particular class of Edomites who are ruling that is uh, of the family of Timon. Yup, Rakhita Yahweh Yahweh Shah. You know, there's you see in 444. That's the spirit, you know. Because <laughs> we're gonna need mercy in these last days, you know. <laughs> it's actually 66444. That's that's spiritual, man. Because we're talking about that, man. This this beast trying to exemplify himself through his wisdom, but the most high is gonna tear it down, man. You know, by what? By the mouth of his prophets. Okay? By the mouth of the holy prophets, that's how this place is going to go down. That's why it's important that you have the right doctrine. Okay? So when the scripture says, is, is wisdom no more in teeming, meaning people are not falling for the uh, the, uh, uh, the the hoax, your, your science books, you know, your technology, all right? The jab as it's being presented, okay? In which, you know, you're seeing people that don't even know scriptures, that don't know anything man they're not into mm -hmm. conspiracy theories theories they're not into anything but they're like uh -uh, i ain't with this uh, uh no 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 why because you're in the dust your your, your enchantments are no longer working that's why the scriptures is asking the question is their wisdom vanished because post world war ii everybody wanted a piece of the knowledge and wisdom of the so-called white man through the tanks through the uh, airplanes the, the the air force you know, there's uh, uh, fighter jets, all right, the, the ICBM missile, all right, or the uh, 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 the atom bomb, okay, 
in which the atom bomb, what happened was, it was a, a two airplanes, all right, that hovered over airspace of, uh, of Japan, and they dropped those bombs, which now you have the technology of the ICBM missile, which is intercontinental ballistic, meaning it can shoot. They don't need to hover over uh, airspace to launch these missiles, right? And this is going to be the final showdown of America, all right, to show forth their wisdom, to sh try to show forth their prosperity. But the scriptures tell you that he's devised a, 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 a weapon that's going. He's that he's going to. He's gonna uh, uh, he's gonna fall upon his own sword, man. So the scripture says, "Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Edom, which are also sons of Esau, for I will bring calamity of Esau upon you. The time that I will visit him. Let me double check that because I'm quite sure. Because you have Edom, which is of Cush. You have Edom, which is of Esau, if I'm not mistaken. Let me. I'm just want to double check." Low country, Ramah, grandson of Cush. It says the son of Jokshan, the grandson of Keturah. Oh, Salakia, a place in, of, of Arabia, which that's heavy. All right, a place that's who it was. You have the, I'm sorry, Didan. You have a, uh, the Cushite the, of Cush, Didan, but then you have the son of Jokshan and grandson of Keturah, which is of Arabia, meaning what? Those Arab countries. Which just makes the most sense if you've been paying attention to the news. Iran and Israel have been having major clashes, and Iran has been selling uh, basically nuclear weapons to Yemen, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. All right, when you go back, you had Esau wanting to conquer these different places, but he has not been able to. All right, why? Because also, too, you have what? The dragons of Arabia. Who's gonna mount up with their horses? Mount Carmel. All right, aka Iran, aka you know those 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 are uh, uh, Ishmaelites. You have uh, Elamites, the dragons of Arabia, man. So this so there's gonna be straits on all sides of Esau Edom. Okay, so when the scriptures tell you it says what it says, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. Meaning what? The third world's war is brewing between the Arabs and Esau Edom. All right? It says, if grass, if great gatherers can't come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves came by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bear, I have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Meaning this man is going to be without. All right? That's why we got to go to the scriptures. We got to make reference to prophecy. We, let's go to Job 20 and 19. Okay. You want to say something? Yeah, yeah. Esau is going to be like Job. He's going to go through the calamities of Job, but then he's going to become dust through the fire. Right, right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Watch out, vehicle stopped on road ahead. Yeah, because he was taken, because Job, everything was taken away from Job. But then he was picked back up. Yeah. He saw him gonna get picked back up. Exactly, exactly. He's gonna be left barren. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be left like the dung hill. It's gonna be like a, a dream. You know, that's spiritual, you know? The spiritual, you said that. It says what? Because he have oppressed, this Job 20 and 19, because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor. Who's the poor? Who's the needy? The Israelites. He wants to jab the Israelites the most. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the poor. He has forsaken you. And he's setting you up for the kill. Because he had violently taken a house which he buildeth not. Okay? And that's America, man. Alright? America is the, the house in which this devil did not build. Right? And he's had, he has taken away violently. He says, surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. Meaning what? He's, going, he's still hungry for more. He's not satisfied. Why? Because when he when he rolls, all right, and when he rolls out his initiative and his agenda, his, his new regime in America, people are going to fight up against it and it's not going to prosper. That's the point. Why? Because that wisdom is there no more. 
Let's go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. It says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? You see, the disputer of this world is Esau Edom, the one that was had all the answers to the problems. You know, the one that people are, are, are they considered of some form of prestige or some form of uh, 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 being renowned or, you know, being exonerated in the society, being exalted in society. Kind of flame is being put out. Cunt. That root is getting dry. Exactly. Exactly, man. Exactly. Because that is the root of Esau Edom. The root of Esau Edom is his philosophy, mm -hmm. along with the sword, his science. His yeah. oppositions of science, falsely so called. All right? He's the agitator, man. You see? It says, what? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? You see, did not the Most High already show forth that the wisdom of this world is not the future? Okay? You still got diseases in the world, all right? He's creating GMOs, all right? Bill Gates wants to block the sun from global warming, all right? He, the, the Most High is showing you that this man does not have the answers. And is losing control. Exactly. And, and that's what shows that doesn't have the answer because people there's too many theories there's too many there's too many uh, uh there's too many people bucking up there's too much resistance even his own people man scripture say it well if a kingdom shall be divided against itself how shall it stand right it says for after that in the wisdom of the most high the world by wisdom knew not the most high it pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe So with, here it is Esau Edom is coming and presenting His science, his knowledge Alright, his philosophy His new agenda Right, but we're telling the people Look, that ain't gonna work Alright, you need to believe in your power You need to believe on The one whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ The so called black man To crack the clouds with the so called UFOs Because that's a part of Esau's science That he can't explain he knows of the chariots, but he can't explain the chariots. He knows of those different realms and he has a space force, all right? But it's all to no avail, right? And we know that through prophecy, through the preaching. And that's what's gonna keep us grounded in these last days, okay? Because a lot of people know the problem, but they don't know the solution. And we're here to Watch give you, out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. We're here to give you the solution through the spirit of being the mouth of the holy, of being the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the holy prophets, right? But a lot of our people are going to resist that. Matter of fact, let me get something real quick. This is the book of, let me see something, welfare, put the word welfare in. Know it's yeah, Psalms 90. I'm sorry, Psalm 69 and 22 it says, Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. You see, let their eyes be darkened that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake because that's where Esau Edom is there to set you up. With that jab to, to you know rock you to sleep So you don't remember your power Because you are going to have people who do Line up for the vaccination And do believe in the science I'm talking about of our people So called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans Right You're going to have that Okay And you're going to have our people lined up To get the RFID chip It's a part of prophecy Okay But a lot of people are, are Going to fight up against it and die Because you're not fighting The right fight You're not fighting the right way You're not going through the straight gate Okay Meaning You're not Harking unto the word of the Lord 
your foundation is your own glory. All right? So continuing on, it says, let their eyes be Watch darkened. Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. I mean, the most high is going to put through, the, through this demon, through this, through Esau, Edom. He's going to put fear in our people, man. When I went into that word opposition of science, falsely so-called, that word opposition it, it basically is an antagonist. It, an, an antagonistic approach of knowledge. He's panic. Yeah, yeah, that's he panic. Yeah. All up in their loins. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, man. You know, that's right. It says pour out thy indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. And what is the wrathful anger of the heavenly Father? Esau, Edom. You see, let their habitation be desolate and let none dwell in their tents. Meaning what? There's going to be a cry in the, in, the, in the street for wine, man. Scriptures tell you that, right? I believe that's, uh, it could be in 2nd uh, Ezra, the 5th chapter. You got it? Cry in the wine for street, in the, the street for wine. Uh, I just wanted to expand on 25, verse 25. Give me one second. We're going to go back to it. Isaiah 24 and 11 There is a crying for wine in the streets All joy is darkened The mirth of the land is gone And the city is left desolation And the gate is smitten with destruction That's right, and what's that cry of wine? Meaning the knowledge, that wisdom Because once Esau's wisdom is diminished People are going to look for that substitute Remember you're talking about that There's going to be a hole, there's going to be a void and that's why it's, Watch it's, out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead That's why it's spiritual when Yahweh Shai He said what? That he will, uh, he's going to make the, the elect whole Right? He said If you drink of this uh, water You shall never thirst again So when people see that Esau Edom is the problem And his science is the problem His technology is the problem How are they going to fill that void? If you don't have the Holy Spirit to work with you Then there's no way we can you can fill that void you need that knowledge. You need that proper doctrine. You need the proper teaching. Because what's going to be left to fill that void is going to be that RFID chip. And a lot of people are going to fall susceptible to that. And you're going to seal your destruction. All right. So let's go back to that. Uh, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, Psalms 9, 69 and 25. What are you talking about? Yeah, what? 25. Verse 25. Let their habitations be desolate and let none. Well in their tents Right That like saying Esau's gonna be like in, in Broken homes And, and We're well, talking about Jake houses Yeah yeah well, talking it's, a, it's talking about everybody In Oriah oh, okay. But mostly It's talking about Israel Because that's why I brought that scripture That there be a cry For wine in the streets yeah. They gonna be in the streets They ain't gonna dwell In their homes They ain't gonna be Cause you know When someone's dwelling In their home They're in comfortability okay. They got their feet up You know Yeah and no longer that couch lion, as the scriptures called Judah. That couch lion will have to get his ass up. Who shall rouse him up? You know? So that's what ultimately what the scriptures is conveying. Damn. So let's go back to Job the 20th chapter. Right? It says what? Verse Watch 20. out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Let's see what type of day it is. Job 20 and 20. It says, Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. Who's it talking about? It's talking about the wicked. It's talking about Esau Edom. He's not gonna have comfort. He shall not save of that which he desired. Meaning what? He's not gonna be able to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Because Esau Edom has been planning this since like the 1700s, man. You know, with the whole Federal Reserve currency you know uh the fractional i should that's what i should say uh fractional reserve banking all right going back to the rothschilds all right the bowers okay fast forward and up to 1933 uh the, the doing away of the gold standard and introducing the uh the uh federal reserve note all right all the way down to the petrol dollar all right having the world being in uh, doing transactions 
through uh, through America through, through that beast system all right it says what there shall none of his meat be left therefore shall no man look for his goods in the fullness of his sufficiency what does it mean to be sufficient meaning a hundred you know meaning completion all right when he's going set forth to, to, to announce the birth of the new world order that's what he's talking about in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits and that's that same word there straits s-t-r-a-i-t-s as it's the same word and matthew the seventh chapter meaning what a position of difficulty so this man as he goes to, to uh, bring forth his new world order and the jab and everything he's going to run into major problems and we know that and that's going to show forth that what as the scriptures tell you it says every hand of the wicked shall be upon him meaning these are those workers man okay matter of fact when you go into that work word wicked every hand of the wicked it says the laborer you see it doesn't mean the actual wicked the word for wicked would be rye or ryum all right the word here is i maul so he says what every hand of the of the laborer the sufferer the people that are catching hell it shall be upon him man that's the arabs too over in those middle eastern countries who suffer the oppression of this beast and his system that's why you have the brexit and the reforms going on in the eu the european union the different infightings between those different governments of europe all right why because of that debt because of that clay just like anybody that's in debt they trying to fight to get out of that shit. they're gonna do whatever to get out of it and that's what this man is doing because he's in debt not only to the people but he's in debt to yahweh bashim yahushah that's why the scripture says that your sins have reached unto heaven your time to pay is here esau edom right it says when he is about to fill his belly the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him see when, when you're about to fill your belly that means you sat down you you decorated this 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 nice meal this you know you did the preparations to make this service but that's when esau Em is going to really catch hell that's that last meal right there yeah yeah yep yep keep preparing your last meals yeah that's right man that's what Esau Edom is doing. Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. He's preparing his last meal. He's preparing his last service. This, his grand finale yeah, ritual. Yeah. But it's going to be wiped away soon clean. All right. He says, when he is about to fill, fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Don't go crazy. Yeah, man. He shall flee. Check it out. Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. That's them ICBMs, man. From Russia, from Iran, from China. The Most High is going to clean this place, America, up. All right? Also, too, let's not forget. All right? The scriptures tell you that the beast shall hate the whore. Who's the beast? The European Union. NATO. Police reported ahead. Because once they do away with America, once America's done, that's the end of Esau Edom reign. And that's when the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and Yahweh Shai, he's going, the scripture says what? He's going to make war with those nations and what? He's going to have many crowns upon his head. So he's going to, Yahweh Shai going to, you know, do away with Russia. He's going to do away with China. All these different nations that think they got next. Script, hey, Elder Wambi did the video. Why Why do the heathen rage, man? And the people imagine a vain thing. Okay? Verse 25. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword come up, come up out of his gall. Terrors are upon him, man. Okay? Just like the scriptures tell you, it says what? It's as if a bear. Let me get that real quick. It's in Isaiah. I believe that's 24 as well. Amos 5 
Amos 5 and 19. Oh, well, they start up higher. Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, right? So what in is it for you? One second. Let me get way over here. Right? So the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. You see? Because look, oh, we got a vaccination for, you know, uh, C-19, but they talking about more pestilence coming to America. You know where to turn. Exactly. So you gonna flee from the lion, but then a bear gonna meet you. <laughs> or went into the house and leaned on a hand on a wall, meaning, oh, oh, we got away clean. But then you lean your hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. That's that, that path of difficulty is not gonna be able to be shook. So you can understand. Esau Edom is gonna have to drink of the cup. It says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no bitterness in it. And no bitterness in it? Is he's asking a sarc question, sarcastic question? So <laughs> shall not the day of the Lord be bitter? You see? What is to come is very uh it's not it doesn't have a good taste. It's not gonna be easy to swallow. Especially for Esau Edom. You see? And that's that's pretty much the point, man. You know? I'll just leave off. I'll play Elder Yashawamba's video and we'll just you know leave off with those words and close out. Y'all by Shemel Shaba Rock a thumb. And do wickedness. And it's clear to see that it's BS. With other non-COVID vaccines that I've had over the years, I felt a little bit achy, but nothing to be bothering or distracting me. Went to bed last night, had a good night's sleep. Woke up this morning, the only thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. The only thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. Now here it is. And Red I know light brothers camera and reported have ahead. Saw this. Here it is, he's getting vaccinated, so-called vaccinated which whatever they're putting in him if something is going in him because we've seen various different scandals and scams and fake syringes it's not the same thing that's going to go <laughs> in you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and you common people you see but here it is 